What makes a base a base? That's what I wanted to say. All right. So we talked about what makes an acid an acid. Poor bond strength, probably most likely due to lots of electronegativity or poor bond overlap or both. Okay, so what causes something to be a base? All right. So OH is our <coughs> uh, go-to strong base. So our strong base is our hydroxide. All right, ion. OH minus. All right, what happens if we draw a Lewis structure of hydroxide? All right, so it's got a negative charge on, I won't even draw it like that. Let's draw it like this. So we got the formal charge on that uh, oxygen. <laughs> so we know that oxygen is very electronegative. It's got a negative charge, and it's got those lone pair of electrons. Okay. And so what happens is that hydrogen ion, that proton, is attracted to that negative charge and can form a bond with one of those lone pairs. And so what happens is hydrogen bonds to that oxygen and it makes water. And that turns out to make water very, very stable. And so that's why it's very strong. Okay, that happens 100%. Hydroxide is always going to neutralize all the H plus in there. Okay. Your weak bases, besides conjugates, we'll talk about those, are nitrogen containing molecules. The reason why they are uh, a base is basically for the same reason, huh? Get that? Basically for the same reason they're a base. Should have left that one unnoticed. Uh, so there, nitrogen, very electronegative, going to have that partial negative charge. This is going to be polar, like ammonia, and it's got that lone pair of electrons just sitting there, and. And the same thing, hydrogen is attracted to that lone pair. These are going to set up equilibrium because they're weak, and it will make the ammonium cation. Now, why does um, the hydroxide make uh, is strong and why the nitrogen containing molecules are weak? Um, I like to think of acids, usually on the reactant side, what's wrong with that bond? But what causes the uh, strength of bases is actually on the product side, which is more stable. Okay? The hydroxide makes water really stable. Okay? So it's, hey, it's good. I'm just staying here. I'm cool. Okay? Nitrogen containing molecules make a cation, some type of a nitrogen cation, um, and they're just not as stable. Okay? So they like that hydrogen, they'll take it, but they're going to sit there positively charged. That's a formal charge, plus one formal charge on that nitrogen. It actually is a little bit more stable with a formal charge of zero, so it wants to go back to ammonia. You can do both, and none of them are like really unstable, but it just goes back and forth between those two. And that's what makes a base a base.